Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're here at my shop. I'm walking in. I just wanted to show you real quick. Had lots of calls on this recently. So I'm gonna show you how to uh, troubleshoot a bad heating element. Okay, this works for all heating elements, but the specific element that I'm testing today is a Turbo Chef uh, heating element in the NGOs, okay? So uh, let's get right to it, okay? All right, guys, this is a heating element out of an NGO. You can see it. This is uh, kind of how it would be in the oven. So first things first, we're gonna put our meter on continuity. Hopefully you guys can see that. We're gonna grab both of our leads, okay? And we're gonna do a continuity test. So make sure you're on there good. That, that side test good. Okay, so the next one, open line. So no beep, that means it's bad. So just to confirm, now let's switch our meter to continuity. I'm, I'm sorry, to ohms. And uh, now we're gonna test. So your reading for ohms should be about 15 ohms per. Okay, we're gonna test this one out now. And as you can see, no ohms. All right guys, so that's real quick, just how to test it. Another way that you would test it would be to go from ground. You gotta put your meter back to continuity. Basically you wanna take each one and go to ground. Make sure it's closed, okay? No beep, that passes the test. Okay, but you wanna make sure that you do all of these tests just to confirm what the problem is. And remember, on the TurboChef NGOs, they have two heating elements, a top and a bottom, all right? Thank you guys. If you like what I uh, just did, make sure you subscribe, thank you. Okay guys, well that's the end of the video today. I just wanted to show you real quick how to uh, test a heating element. So if you like what you watched, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Let's help this community grow. Thank you very much. Come back for the next one. Have a good day.